Hey guys, welcome to my video. So, uh, I basically have a food video today. Uh, yeah, I know I haven't been posting much, but yeah, my dog is right there, man. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my man. I can't. Yes, guys, she's sleepy. I don't know why, but she's kind of a little sleepy. I can't have her let her have that. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But, yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you what she has and what she's gonna wear today. That is cute. Can you just? Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, no! So this is what she's gonna be wearing, all green today. And we have her little shoes or socks. It's for her guys. But and then I have this. Whoop, have this little pacifier. See. If you guys can't read it, my camera is so kind of messing up. But then I have this right here. <laughs> Why do I always be forgetting what it's called? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. But, but yeah, a comb. Cause I have the brush right here. Cause yeah, and yeah, I have a little bow. And stuff. I have the second one, but the second one is right over there, guys. But so let's go wake her up. Let's go wake her up, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go wake her up. Hey, guys, I'm gonna put you guys like. Oh, let me know you guys can't see. I don't know, but hey, so yes. Guys, she did have her um, she did have her little um, uh, what do you call it here? I think it's all. Hey, don't mind her hair. She's a little bit messy. She sleeps a lot, guys. But, yeah. And you're like, why is she wearing that? Yeah. Well, maybe something they wear that just stands for me. So, but yeah. She is cute. So, yeah. Meme. Meme. Hey. No, I'm like, you love that toy. You know, that's hers. That's hers. That was me. Wait, yes. <laughs> Mimi! She tried to take my teddy bear from um, Hazel. Okay, fine. I know. But, yeah, it's fine. Don't mind her hair, guys. Girl! <laughs> Don't mind her hair, you guys. <laughs> My dog is just trying to give her a teddy bear, which I told her to stop doing. Okay, man, man, you want them to see you? You want them to see you? You want them to see you? Man, man, they ain't here for you. They, they can go to your channel. Anyways, doggy channel. You can fight bark, 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 bark. Yeah. Bless you. Ew. But yeah. Um, well, yeah, her, uh, dress, well, no, I'm gonna go ahead and do her hair first, or I will let her watch, uh, the dress, uh, I'll let her watch her favorite show today, um, if you guys don't know what that is, I used to watch that second grade, so, oh, yeah, I know a lot of people from my second grade class watch that, but, yeah, I don't think they're still in this country. Girl, how many times? But, yeah. Okay. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
go get y'all. You can go get it. You go. Y'all move on. Okay. Oops. All right. You guys, she is heavy. Gosh, I put my thing. But, yeah. Anyways, let me get back a little bit. So, cut my face up. So, y'all can see her. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to do it all the time. Getting her, making her face. Even though she is So, so, guys, wow. I thought I get the um by the time I get oop, by the time I get done doing her um her hair uh I will see her in it. So stay tuned but I'll be here to get uh her show on. So yeah. First let me get her to sit right here by my dog. Hope she hope she don't try to hope she don't try to do anything to her. Okay, so my dog just left. The, the, the baby just left. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. Who's my dad? Girl! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you real bad? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, wait. Yeah. By the time I get done doing her hair, she and when I start to see her hair look and stuff. But let me get the comb and do her hair. But first, you know I gotta. Uh, put this thing over here. Where is <laughs> Look, Mama, it can go like that. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's our turn point. Yay. I want to watch the best videos. But behind you. You said you watched that a second way. Yeah, I have watched that. But it turned on now. Want to go to the shore? Yeah. Okay. Put this thing right here. All right, you guys. So we have it on now. But yeah, think about this. Got to let it out like that. Now that it's staying. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, small. Yeah, y'all. If you guys don't know, yes, I do have a mom. So, yeah. And this is like, what you do? You all know that. Yeah, we all got real brothers. And fathers. Yeah. I don't know what she doing. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh. Maybe. She over here rolling. She playing. I thought she's scratching. Alright. Okay. But yeah, you guys, uh, let me just go to YouTube. Ah, no! Sorry. Let me go to YouTube. Look, it's on now. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! I think I have to play this. Okay. Alright, let's go to one. So this is Bersley Bears family. The kind of furry around the torso. They're all like my people on the torso. Bernstein Bears. 
Forget about more important things. <laughs> Last one there's the rotten egg. First is the worst, second is the best. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream parlor isn't going anywhere. They are air jackets. They are airs of the coolest sports clothes you can get, Mama. Mm, they look just like the jackets at Bargain Bear to me. No way! They're so much better. And the price is so much higher. My goodness, Papa's right. Those jackets are very expensive. But Mama, you said yesterday that we needed new jackets. Yes, but I didn't mean... And Papa, you said that special drill you just bought cost too much, but you got it anyway. Yes, but, uh, well, this is different. Uh, isn't that right, Mama? What Papa means is that since we work hard to earn the money, we decide what to spend it on. Hey, what if we earned our own money? Then we could decide what to spend it on. I suppose. Even their air jackets? I suppose. Yay! But how are you going to earn all that money? Well, I heard they need a new paper bear for our neighborhood. We can set up a lemonade stand. And rake leaves for our neighbors, and weed their gardens too. Look at all that money. The way you two are going, you'll have enough of those jackets in no time. Even faster than that, Papa. We have lots more earning ideas, too. Right, sister? We sure do. Lots and lots and lots. <laughs> oh, goodness. I can't even imagine what they might be. But I'm sure whatever door opportunity knocks on, you two will be there to answer it. And for a small fee... I can deliver these fresh pick wildflowers too. Well, uh, as far as I'm allowed to ride my bike. And as long as I get back home before dinner time. That won't be necessary. Uh, thanks anyway. How's business, brother? Sounds like business is good. Good enough for you two to take a little break. I have a feeling the fish are really biting today. No thanks, Papa. We're too busy earning money for our jackets. How about just helping me find some fishing worms? We're way ahead of you, Papa. How thoughtful, brother. Thank you. Two dollars, please. Two dollars? But I'm your Papa. You always help me find worms for free. Knock, knock. Yes, I know opportunities knocking. Brother, what about that you know what? Oh, yeah. If you like, we could do your fishing for you. For a reasonable price, of course. No, thanks. I like to do that part myself. You know, I so look forward to our quilting club meetings. Get your lemonade. I got lemonade. I scored lemonade right here. Only ten cents a glass. Thank you for the lemonade, dear. You know... My eyes aren't what they used to be. Do you think you could thread my needle for me? Here's an extra nipple. Three threads, three threads, get your three threads, nickel and needle. Aha! That's the piece I've been looking for. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Papa. I'm just a little distracted right now. Things have really changed around the treehouse. 
There's more to life than making money. Now, now, Mama, not to worry. As soon as they have enough to buy those fancy jackets, I'm sure everything will return to... Yeah! Oh. We did it! We have Woo! enough money for our bear air jackets! Yippee! Hopefully everything will get back to normal now. Where are your new jackets? Still well, I store. had to turn. What? If we wait until we have enough money for the jackets and the bear air sweatshirt, then we get bear air hats for free! You mean you have to earn more money? No problem, Papa. We have lots of ideas we haven't even tried yet. Lots and lots and lots! <laughs> Things will return to normal very soon. My, what big juicy berries! Where did you pick them? I can't tell you. The berry patch is a family secret. One dollar, please. We're not here to buy berries, sister. Hi, Lizzie. Hey, Millie. We came to ask if you want to play dolls at Lizzie's house with us. No, thanks. I'm too busy. I have all these berries to sell. You're always too busy selling something. <sighs> Let's go, Lizzie. Wait! I'll give you ten cents off because you're my best friend. Get your map to the Bear Family Secret Berry Patch. Only one dollar. Because we beg. Did you come to buy a map? No. I came to see if you wanted to play Pirates or Astro Bears or something in my clubhouse. Sorry, but uh, I'm kind of busy right now. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your map. You're always busy, brother. Yep. Busy Ooh, earning he's money busy. for bear mm. air stuff. Yep. Wait. They done made their money to buy them jackets, man. you're not using your clubhouse, mm -hmm. how about no, we rent it out to it. other cops? <laughs> and we can share the money for the show. Uh -huh. I'll be the brains and yeah. we'll yeah. be the, my favorite show. the guy with the clubhouse. You told me that already. Okay. Make it over. I'm not mad. I know the cops like my cookies, but I've never made this many before. I don't know where they're all disappearing to. I have no idea. Can I watch this? Oh, watch it later. Nah, it's for Hazel. Their rooms, counting up their daily profits as usual. Sorry, mommy. That's it. They're selling my cookies. Mommy, don't it's say that. It's another one of brother and sister's money-making schemes. No, there's nothing wrong with being. Working hard. But there is about going overboard, and that's just what the cubs are doing. Brother and sister are getting carried away with making money, and the big problem is... I know. They're not doing anything for anyone just to be nice anymore. Yes, and they're missing out on spending time with their friends and having fun. Don't worry, Mama. I'm sure it will... Get back to normal soon? I certainly hope you're right, Papa. too busy to come. All she wants to do is make money anyway. She'd probably try to sell us popcorn and rent us pillows. <laughs> hey guys, what you doing? Brother, hey, the Astro Bear movie starts today. And they're giving out Astro Bear action figures to the first 20 cubs in line. Oh, I forgot all about it. I guess I've been too busy. That's a surprise. I, I want to go with you. Just wait till I'm done this car, okay? No, we can't. We're going to be late. See ya. But guys... Now this is a surprise. We important things. No. What? 
No. Mom, let me do my job. Mama, Melly sleep. But why my room? We got downstairs, upstairs, upstairs, the stairs, the your room. Great party, brother. You know, Just, we were starting to think you and sister didn't want to be our friends anymore. Because our friends, right? We thought all you cared about was making money. I know. And uh, we're sorry. Really sorry. So instead of spending all that money on their air stuff, we started our very own bank accounts. Then we gave to the animal show. And we bought new jackets at Bargain Bear. But most of all, we had just enough left over for a party. Party for our friends. Because friends are more important than making money. A lot more important. <laughs> when peer pressure rears its ugly head, it's easy for most cubs to be misled. Ready? Aim? All right, nothing but net. Brother, brother! What's the matter, sis? Two Toad is gang took my jump rope. I tried to get it back, but they wouldn't give it to me. Three against one, and you're half their size. I can't believe those guys. Do you think you could get it back for me? Just try and stop me.
Alright, I'll go. Oh. That's what we like to hear. These droids are asleep here. Guys, I don't know. Now, wasn't that fun? I guess so. In a, but it in a hair actually kind of cute. Kinda way. I don't know. But, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know it, brother. I need this part. When you hang out with Too Tall in the I gang, know. the fun never ends. All that fun has made me hungry. I think it's time for some watermelon. Hey, that's a great idea. So, this much should be about. But, but this is Farmer Ben's watermelon patch. Shh. Do you want to spoil our fun? We're going to steal some watermelons. But that's Ooh. dishonest. And Farmer Ben is a friend of mine. But that's dishonest. And Farmer Ben is a friend of mine. Maybe we made a mistake letting you hang out with us. We thought you liked having fun. I don't see how stealing watermelons is fun. You have to try it first and then decide if it's fun or not. Uh-huh. Yep. For sure. I don't know about this. Hey, fellas. I think brother might be a little chicken. <laughs> I am not chicken. Then I dare you to come with us. Not this time. Then I double dare you. Mm. I don't think so. I'll see you guys later. Brother. I de double dare you. Whoa. You hear that? You D-double dare you. Look around. Farmer Ben is nowhere in sight. He'll never miss a few watermelons. Look how many he has. There's no way you're going to get caught. So, what do you say, brother? Okay, I'll do it. Get in! Ooh. Okay, brother, let's move. stealing watermelons with Too Tall and his no-good gang. First they dared me. Then they double dared me. Ah. Then they D-double dared me. <laughs> that D-double dare is sure tough to resist. I wanted to walk away, but then they called me chicken. I'm sorry, Ben. Well, don't worry, brother. I won't tell your parents about this one watermelon stealing mistake. Really? Thanks. Well, this kind of thing could happen to anyone. After a rough day like the one you've had, there's nothing better than relaxing with a little watermelon. Here you go. Thanks. Chickens aren't very bright, but they're too smart to do something stupid because somebody calls them chicken. Hmm. I guess you're right. The sheep, on the other hand, don't think for themselves and are always following the leader. Ben, your sheep are heading for the road. <laughs> don't worry. Chef, my old sheepdog will take care of them. Sheep are like that. Follow a leader anywhere. And some folks are like that, too. All over the have a little more fun at the Winter Jones house. No way. No, really. 
Well, I dare you to come with us. Not this time. Okay, then. I double dare you. Nope. Not interested. What's the matter? Chicken? <laughs> I'm not a chicken. And I'm not a sheep, either. Okay, brother. I D-double dare you to come with us to the Winter Jolt House. That stuff might have worked before, but it won't now. See you later, I'm going home. What a spoiled snake. Oh, uh, we don't need him to have fun. I can't believe he walked away from a D-double dare. What a chicken! Huh? Too tall. If I ever catch you or any of your gang in my watermelon patch again, your parents are going to hear from me. Now get on home. Oh, we're sorry, Farmer Ben. Thank you, Farmer Ben. It, it'll never happen again. Please don't tell her parents. <laughs> Those cubs make my chickens look tough. <laughs> Looking for this? The jump rope, thank you! How did you get it back from Too Tall and his gang? I asked Too Tall to give it to me, and he did. That doesn't sound like Too Tall to me. Was it really that easy? Well, it wasn't exactly that easy. I don't want to do it. Now I'm going to do it. So you guys, I had to pause her show just, 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 just for a second. So that, um, I can get a blue. And then, I'm gonna play back on knowledge.
you phone last night. Thanks for letting me borrow her for the pet show, Greg. I think it's a wonderful idea. And I know everyone's just going to love her. Aren't they, Blue? Yeah, I've never heard her say anything. She makes some pretty neat sounds. That's not really a talent, Freddy. Well, look on the bright side, brother. She's a very nice shade of blue. <sighs> Too bad that's not a talent. It's a talent for Carl. Oh, you're taking Carl to the pet show? Sure, he is my pet. Well, at least Blue won't be the only pet there without any talent. Carl has talent. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Carl does have a talent for looking like a plastic toy. <laughs> I know, he can sit for hours and not move a muscle. But wait till you see his hidden talent. Okay, Carl, do your thing. Wow, you can hardly see him. Pretty neat, huh? Yes, that's a very special talent. Bruh. I just had to say Okay, oh, little bird blue. Oh, I know you have a talent in there somewhere. We're going to start with an easy trick. Little lady learned this one in five minutes. Oh, All you have to do is fly through the hoop. Don't be scared. Nice and easy. Okay, I think you're going to like this trick better. This is a super tasty, crunchy sunflower seed. And all you have to do is play catch. Catch it in the air, and you can eat it. Ready? Go! <sighs> Let's try something else. Come on, pay attention. Pretty bird blue. Pretty bird blue. Mm, it's not that hard to say. You can make noises. Why can't you make words? I thought you'd say that. How about this? I am a bird brain. I am a bird brain. You said it, not me. <laughs> I am not going to go to the pet show with this bird. Good morning, Mr. Robin. That's a lovely song. Maybe you should get Little Bird Blue out here for some singing lessons, brother. Right. Singing lessons. Anybody home? Gran! Hello, Gran. <laughs> Hi, Gran. I was just out for my walk and thought I'd hop in to see if everyone was ready for the show. Yes, today's the big day. I know that voice. There is my little pride and joy. Oh, you're excited about the show today, aren't you? Gran, there's something I have to tell you. Yes? I don't want to take Blue to the pet show. Why not? Blue's a great bird and everything, but she doesn't do anything. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. No, Gran, it's true. I tried to teach her some tricks, but she just doesn't have any talent. I think that depends on your point of view. Well, what do you mean? There. Did you hear that? Now, how many birds do you know that can do that? Make weird noises? <laughs> you don't recognize that sound, do you? Should I? It's Grizzly Grab's rocking chair.
see what I mean about changing your point of view. I sure do. I didn't know that all those noises were really sound effects. You have lots of talent, don't you, Blue? Hmm. That's the only sound I can't figure out. I think I know what it is. What? You'll find out when you come to the pet show. They're giving out merit badges. That's tomorrow afternoon. You're not finished yet? Finished? I haven't even started. But no problem. I've got everything I need up in my room. I'll build it tonight. Ugh. Boy, if your room is anything like your locker, there'll be one merit badge left over. Yours. It's under control, guys. Trust me. Where's your glove, brother? Let me go make everybody. Put then off to bed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Where's that permission slip I have to sign for your field trip? Oh um, my god, it's still like four. Didn't inches. you find it when you cleaned your room? Okay. I'm sure I put it in the closet. Oh. Why would you put it in the closet? Yeah, uh, oh. I'll go get it. That's a whole place. Uh -oh. oh no! What's all the racket? All the stuff fell out of the closet. I guess there will be one merit badge left over at the meeting tomorrow. Oh dear. And you worked so hard on that birdhouse. I guess it's my fault. Putting it on the stool was my idea. No, Papa. It's my fault. If we cleaned up the room the right way, instead of just shoving everything into the closet, this wouldn't have happened. Let's go downstairs and finish our hot chocolate. First thing in the morning, we'll see what we can do about getting you two a little more organized. Mm -hmm. My 
my permission slip. The small folders can be for storing schoolwork and artwork in our desk. And the boxes are for bigger things. We just need to put labels on. We can use these markers, Mama. Good idea, brother. That big one will be perfect for sports equipment. This one's for action figures. And this one will be for my tea sets and dolls. Once everything has a place to go, it will be a lot easier to make sure it gets put away. So we can find it when we need it. Yes, instead of it all falling down on us. Congratulations, you two are organized. Just in time for my bear scope meeting. I'm never going to let the room get that messy again. Ever.
the town hall was here since always. <laughs> well, not exactly since always. But the town hall was here long before most of us were. And my research tells me this is indeed the shovel used to help build it. Professor Actual Factual has kindly volunteered to research all the donations. Pleased to be of help. After all, having the chance to see the things in the exhibit and learn about them tells us all something about our community, how it got started, and about the bears who started it long ago. A community is like a big family made from everyone in town. Yes, very good, sister. Everyone has been asked to lend anything they may have that is important to Bear Country's history. <laughs> it looks like even little ladies dug up something to donate to the exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. That's my great great grandpa. Back when he was one of the volunteer fire bears. Did he help the real fire bears, Mr. Bruin? <laughs> this is long ago, brother. Back when Bear Country had no real fire bears. No fire bears? Well, just volunteers. Farmers, store clerks, woods bears like your papa. At the first smell of smoke, they drop whatever they were doing, grab a bucket, and pitch in to help put out the fire. Buckets? They didn't have big hoses to put out the fires? Not back then. This was all they had in the old days. They just kept filling them up and pouring them on the fire until it was out. Wow! Wait till I tell all my friends. They're not going to believe it. Well, then, your pals are welcome to go down to the library to see it for themselves. That's what the exhibit is for. Thanks for the donations, Mr. Bruin. I'm happy to contribute, Papa. I can hardly wait to see what the rest of the town has donated. Are we going to donate something to the history of Bear Country? Be choosing which is the most important thing like that? Oh, there's so much stuff up there, I wouldn't be surprised if we did. Uh, uh, I can't believe they used to make horseshoes on this. Oh, well, Mama, there it is. All set for tomorrow. As good as any exhibit I've seen in Professor Factual's Bearsonian Institution. All these things give us a chance to learn what things were like when bear country was just beginning. Having a chance to share these things helps everyone in town feel like they're all part of one big happy family. How come there's one spot still empty right in the middle, Mama? That's where our donation's going to go, sis. Right, Papa? Our donation? And just what might that be, Papa? Let's go ahead. I don't Alright. Okay. So we're gonna go uh to gonna go outside. Is that good? Oh my gosh. Guys. I have so much stuff in my hand. But yeah, we're gonna go outside. I don't want my dog coming because I don't want him to mess with the house. Alright, let me just put my shoes on, guys. Okay. Alright, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Alright, you guys, we're outside. Ooh! We're outside. And I have my baby dog with me. So, guys, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk, you guys. It's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I am walking, you guys, but I really don't wanna. Ooh! Oh my gosh. I really. Oh my gosh, oh, I really don't want to, uh, yeah, I really don't want to walk too much, oh my gosh, I don't want to walk too much over here, but I uh, know this is a long walk, oh my gosh, shoe, ah, hey guys, look at my shoe, gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys, let's hurry up and go. Over somewhere else. Okay. Guys, I think this thing in my shoe. 
But uh, I'm gonna try to sit down and see if there's anything in my shoe. I'm good. You can get Hazel. Come on. Oh gosh. I got Hazel, y'all. Oh gosh. Right? I'm just here going for our walk. So. <laughs> but yeah. Super, 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 super crazy, you guys. But, yeah. Like I said, I have to go check my shoes and stuff. Make sure she was okay. Ooh, before I, I uh, before I have to uh, do anything. Because, like, uh, I have to make sure she's okay. But, yeah. At the same time, I have to make sure. I'm okay too, but that's about what I'm talking about. But yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. So I just love it. Yeah. And even though I don't like this baby doll, well, I do actually. But guys, let's go inside the house now. Let's go. I'm back in the house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm back in the house. Uh, um, when I get to my um, room, I'm going to go and uh, start doing my video thing. First, I'm going to get everything situated. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. So, guys, that's about what me and so, guys, I'm just trying to wait for a little bit. So, yeah. So, guys, I'm just cleaning up and stuff. I'm going to get tablets and just wash it. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to just fall a bit. Ooh. Okay, guys. I, uh, I got her. Uh, I'm gonna get her cover and stuff. Also, so we just, you guys probably can. Catch you later, Stuart. I'm Sally. Let me put you on. Guys, I changed what I was supposed to say. Hey, Sorry, you guys. I had to take her stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put some right behind her. Oh. Now, I can put you guys where you guys need to step here. You just put this thing right here. And I'll put you guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Sorry, y'all. Excuse me. All right. Stay right there for a second. Okay. So, then, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just look at my Hazel. And let me just put your eyes a little bit. No. I know. Yeah. So now, you guys, I got her right here. I'm not 
sure that this is a diamond, brother. I think it might be a piece of quartz, but it's a real find, just the same. Looking down into the valley, we never realized we might actually one day leave our cozy cave to live in a treehouse in the forest far below. I sure wish I could have lived on Great Bear Mountain with you in your cave. What? I thought you never wanted to live anywhere other than our treehouse. But it sounds nice and fun. It was fun.